happy, happy, happy Tuesday. It's a glorious Tuesday. It's an awesome Tuesday. And there's an update on Jose Alba, the New York City bodega worker. He's being charged with second degree murder. There's an update that I'm happy to, to report on or talk about. This is from Fox News. New York judge drops murder charges against bodega worker after Manhattan DA backtracks second degree murder charge dropped against Jose Alba. Charges were dropped Tuesday against a New York City bodega worker arrested for the murder of a man seen on surveillance video first coming behind the cashier desk and attacking the employee. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's office faced harsh criticism for bringing the charges against Jose Alba earlier this month, despite Burgess suggested the deadly stabbing was justified as self-defense. Jennifer Sagal, Assistant District Attorney under Bragg, issued a motion Tuesday morning to dismiss the second-degree murder charge against Alba and provide a copy to his attorney, Michelle Vassell Grant. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Fox News confirmed that the judge dismissed the charge against Alba by Tuesday afternoon. Following the investigation, people determined that we cannot prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant was not justified in use of the deadly physical force, such as the people will not be presented the case to a grand jury and for reasons provided to the attached memorandum, hereby moved to dismiss the complaint. Bragg office wrote in a court document obtained by Fox News. There's people in the comment sections that uh, copied this. It says, in translation, too bad that there was uh, video evidence going against our narrative, so we had to drop the charges. He should never have been charged in the beginning. I mean, it was an injustice to charge the victim. I get that just because he's a victim does not mean he's above approach. But the video evidence is pretty, pretty clear that he was acting in self-defense. Alba repeatedly stabbed Austin Simon behind the counter in the Blue Moon convenience store at 3422 Broadway in Manhattan. It's probably 11 p.m. on July 1st. According to court documents, the district attorney admitted Tuesday that the death stemmed from a physical confrontation that Simon started. Simon started. Because he believed that Alba had harshly treated the 10-year-old daughter of Simon's girlfriend. Alba pulled out the daughter's hand a snack that the girlfriend could not purchase due to a I guess it's the revision. I don't know if it's true or not. Due to a malfunctioning electronic benefit transfer card, the EBT card. I guess they're going with that. I thought he got declined. The girlfriend shouted at the clerk, or expletives at the clerk, and said her boy boyfriend's going to be, said her boyfriend will be back to F you up. Minutes later, Simon came to the store, entered the small employee-only area behind the counter, shoved Alba against the wall with the shelving, grabbed him by the collar, lifted him out of the chair, and forced him out of the employee area. Oh, employee-only area. Prosecutor said he said that he wanted Alba to apologize to the girl and come outside and fight him. Because he's all about that thug life. I don't want a problem, Papa. Alba is heard on the audio recording telling Simon. With Simon holding him by the collar, forcefully pushing him out, Alba grabbed a knife from the shelf beside the counter and repeatedly stabbed Simon as they struggled, struggled, prosecutor said. Simon was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Medical examiner said he suffered six sharp force injuries, including one stab that to the left side of his neck that injured the internal juggler vein. Alba said Simon's girlfriend also attacked him. Court documents noted that Alba is six 
51 years and 5 feet 7 inches tall, while Simon was 35 years old, 6 feet tall. I don't think age and size should really play any role into this. Neither should gender, neither should ethnic background. You had a thug, all about the thug life, defending his thug girlfriend's honor and got handled and unfortunately died. Let's see here. Simon had a box cutter visibly in, in his front right shorts, but did not display at any point during the confrontation, according to Alba account to the police and surveillance video. Simon was reportedly out on parole for assaulting a police officer. At the time of the deadly incident, Alba was arrested and been held at New York infamous Jail Records Island on a bail of $250,000 bail. Half of the half million requests by Bragg's office during an arraignment hearing, Abbott was later released after his bail package was reduced to $50,000 before the murder charges was eventually dropped on Tuesday. The district attorney cited state statute that nearly defines a circumstance where deadly force such as homicide is justifiable and not criminal. When the defendant raises the defense justification prosecutor and not the defendant are required to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant was not justified in the use of deadly force. Two different possible justifications that are Alba believed that Simon was about to use deadly force against him or that Simon trespassed be behind the bodega counter with the intent to commit a crime and Alba's use of force or physical force was to prevent or terminate a burglary, prosecutor said. AKA, there's video evidence so we can't charge him and there was outrage. I don't know. Nope. It doesn't show the comments because I wasn't going to disable my ad blocker. But this is a good news. This is a glorious news. This is a glorious day. And hopefully, hopefully there is no retribution from the girlfriend to civilly sue this person. She should cut her losses. They should let this guy go. They should let this guy live the rest of his life in peace. Because he should never have been charged in the first place, in my humble opinion. With that being said, leave a comment down below. Do you share my optimism? Do you share my joy that this guy is no longer being charged? Let me know down in the comment section below. And please smash the like and subscribe button on any and all platforms or just the platform you're currently watching. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.